Welcome back to our Plena. This is uh, part two, and today we'll finish it, I think. We're gonna take this out and paint the this uh, table on the inside, and we're gonna paint the inside of the machine and try to take some of the handles off and stuff. I don't know how much of that we can get off, but, uh, but then we'll start painting the outsides of it. Let's get to it. So I wanted to take this off, but it's stuck on there too good. Uh, so we'll tape everything up, all the handles, everything. Also, all the nice plaques and stuff, and then we'll paint from there. I just received this uh, the new electric motor for the the planer. Uh, this is actually three kilowatts each, but the difference is just the building size. I couldn't get what these because because apparently it's not a standard uh, size. So this one's called a uh, 90L. It sits here in the plaque. You can you can't see it, but. And this one's a hundred, but we'll be putting this in, wiring it all up with the stop. This is going to be the new three-phase motor. I just wanted to show you the size because it's quite impressive that this one can deliver the same as this, even though this one is way bigger.
So I finally managed to get the pulley in there. It's stuck well on there now. It's sitting right here. And this is the motor. And it's bolted on with these. And then it's gonna drive two belts. It goes to the gearbox, drives the chain, chain drives the, there's gonna be two wheels here, drives those. Yeah, and the other one drives the cutter head. So yeah, that's the layout. It was a bit of a mission getting it on there. So we finally have the cutter head installed um, and we're just going to quick calibrate it. Uh, so we won't spend too much time on this but I just quickly want to show you how it's done. It has these four um, bolts down here that press up against the blade and you basically loosen these. The blade can slide in and out with little springs. And then you have these guys which is magnetic so they stick to the, the spindle and then you can adjust this little brass piece up and down in here with this screw. So basically what I do is I set it on the edge of the, uh, the gap here in each end, like this, and then it touches on the other side. And then this little, little uh, brass thing you can adjust up and down sets the blade height. On this one I have it sticking out just a few mil. But yeah, so then you set these two, have two of these, set them up at the end angle, which is a bit hard. And then you just plug them on, you unscrew all the bolts, the blade push, pushes up against the brass piece and then you tighten the bolts down and it's where it's supposed to be. So this is from the front, you'll see. I just put it down like this and like that and then you can see the blade 
just touching. So to do the outfit table, it's easy just to put the infeed table down. Like so, it already looks a bit high, but we'll get to that. So you take a piece of wood here and you slide it over the edge, having the blade retracted. Then you manually turn the spindle at a point of course your machine is turned off otherwise this could get real nasty real fast so you spin it and you see that the cutter grabs the piece of wood and then you turn it and it should move the wood like a centimeter a little bit less than a centimeter you can see here it's moving it really far so you it's basically way too low you can see it already moves it without the blade like this, so we'll adjust it up and then we'll try again. All right, so I adjusted it up a little bit and then we'll do the same thing, have it hang out around a centimeter. So let's just start it where the table starts. So you can see it just grabs it. And now we're moving, we're moving. We're moving like three centimeters, so it's still too low. All right, we adjust it up a little bit. You can see now it doesn't touch it anymore, so we probably move it out a bit. See, it touches it just where the knife is. So this is where we start. Here we move it around two centimeters, so we're still a little bit too low. This is quite nice. Let's see if it's the same in here. Very similar. That's good. Very straight. So to adjust the infeed table, you basically slide your wood to the center line of the cutter, and then rotate your spindle. And here you can see we're grabbing around three millimeters, which is way too much. So we'll adjust it down or up quite a bit, so we get a more subtle cut. This is way too big a chunk. So now we're around a mil. I think that's pretty good.